you just talked about it, staying down, grinding until you got to your next stop. You're at Northwest Florida right now. Talk to me about getting to Northwest Florida and what it's been like adjusting to the college lifestyle. Um, for real, for real, it's been the same to me. Like, two years out, I was always, like, kind of independent. You know, I got, my, I got my girlfriend, so at times I was just at my girl's house for, like, you know, months at a time. Like, I would still go home to see my family and stuff, but, like, you know, working out on my own, lifting on my own, you know, taking myself to to eat, you know, to my games and stuff. But um, it was just schoolwork or oh, the schoolwork. That's what's different, bro. Like, I just got to stay on top of myself with that because that messed me up in high school. And I always tell myself when I get the chance, like, I'm not going to mess up again. So um, that's a big thing. I just stay on top of myself about that. Um, but in the summer, like, I wasn't really supposed to come here. I was supposed to go to, um, a Juco out in California, but my dad told me that he had a friend that coached and he just got the new job here, high level Juco. And I hit him up. He told me he didn't have no more summer scholarships. So I just had to, you know, work for my shine and my spot. Um, I came here and knew nobody here, knew nothing about here. Um, in the middle of nowhere for for, for Came here first three days. Um, came here first three days. Just worked my ass off, man. Like, just, I just worked. Like, I just played harder than everybody else. And he just saw it in me and awarded me with a scholarship. I don't pay for nothing. Um, like, I don't know. It's crazy, man. He's seen it in me, co-seen it in me. And I just continue to work uh, for for everything that I want and everything I got right now. So, but it's a great experience. Great experience right now. Got hella support around here. Like people all around the community, they know who we are. They know we got a big thing coming this year. Um, coaches supportive, teammates supportive. And we all working for one goal. Um, it's high level talent here, high level uh, workers. Uh, we all want the same thing, get to the next level. Um, but, you know, you know how it is, Juco life. Juco sure. life. For sure. I know I know exactly how it is. Definitely. <laughs> but first, I want to say um, congratulations. I'm happy. I'm real happy for you, like, earning your scholarship. When I seen, I seen the video this summer, like you said, you first got up there for a couple of days, did what you had to do. When I seen the video, your coach giving you a scholarship, like, I was just cheesing. Like, I was so happy for you. Like, I never <laughs> – I never had the experience of being a walk on. Like I grinded and I had scholarships at my previous school and this school. And like, obviously that's a blessing for sure. Just being on scholarship and just having your education and stuff paid for. But like, I feel like when I don't, I can't, I can't say what it's like to be a walk on and not have a scholarship, but like, I feel like it's probably a little bit more special when you know what it's like to not have a scholarship and to earn that from like, from that different, that different level, you know? So I want to say I'm happy for you. I really, like, when I seen that video, bro, I was, I was happy. I seen it on Twitter. Hit the retweet button super fast. My dog, I was real happy for you. But for sure. You I appreciate it. that. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. No, of course. You you earned it. But you at Northwest Florida. Like you said, high-level JUCO, a lot of high-level players. I haven't seen y'all roster for real, but I know y'all got some real dogs on y'all team. Y'all looking to do big things. Usually Northwest Florida, one of the top schools in the country. Talk to me about some of your teammates and the high-level guys that you guys have on your team this year. Uh, I'm cool with everybody on the team. That's that's one thing. We all try to, you know, talk to each other and just become close, build a great chemistry. Uh, I knew it was for real when the first day coaches was allowed to come and see us. Um, I seen Bob Huggins, who – Eric, anybody on the show who watching this right now, if they know that is high level top coach. He, would you agree with me say he probably gonna be in the Hall of Fame college? He's gonna be in the Hall of Fame college, definitely. West Virginia, he he coach, he's the head coach in West Virginia. And he was in, he was watching our practices. 
And I was just like, damn, like, it's real. Like, some GMs come through, people connected to the GMs, Nike, uh, EYBL circuit, all that. Like, it's connections through all of that. GH, he just has a lot of connection. And see a, high, a lot of high-level schools come through here. So, um, I ain't getting to talk to me yet, but people, I'm happy for my guys that's talking to them, you know. Um, they working for theirs. I'm trying to work them f- to get theirs. Sharper iron, sharpens iron. So mm-hmm. we just continue to work together. It's a lot of it's a lot of high level people coming through here, so, and you know it's not just for basketball. We could be using this connection for business or like any major, like a, to be a doctor or you know other things like. Just everything, communications, trying to be a commentator. So we just working to become the best versions of ourselves for our life and our family and our future. For sure. 